um, allergic reaction called anaphylactic shock. What's anaphylactic shock? This is when your airways get constricted and you can't breathe that it may lead to death. Okay, it's called anaphylactic shock. Or anaphylactic reaction. Right? You start turning black and blue because your airways are so constricted, meaning the allergies reach the airways. You can't breathe anymore. So you can't just say it's just a simple allergy. Okay. I had a student who was sharing his story about his roommate. He said, I know that he's allergic to, I think it's walnuts. It's a, it's a type of nut. Maze. And then he said, I gave him walnuts, even if I know he's allergic to it. And then he said he couldn't breathe and he was scrambling for his EpiPen. I said, why would you do, pull such a joke or a prank? I said, do you know that this might happen? You could have killed that roommate. He said, I didn't know. I thought it would just be rashes and stuff like that. I said, now you know better. Okay, now you know better. There's a reason why EpiPen comes in a pen form because it's an emergency drug. You don't want it to get to this point, okay? Anyway, let's go back. The strategy where a brand name product is brought to the market with different combinations. You know your Tylenol? Tylenol is acetaminophen because it's a big brand. I think it's the biggest brand in the US because it's over the counter too. There came Tylenol with Cody. There came Tylenol arthritis. There's a Tylenol with like an hydramin combination, right? Right. Like, there's so many combinations, but they keep using the same brand, right? Because the brand became big. Same with two different, okay? Same with two different, it's a big brand. This is a marketing strategy where a brand name product is brought to the market with different combinations of active ingredients and different indications. And this often leads to consumer confusion and a possible medication error.